Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are once again using fractions to help us solve number stories. And in uh, Unit 5, Lesson 6, we seem to be sticking with a, uh, a royal theme where a monarch is uh, dispersing property amongst his or her uh, children. Let's read the problem in Homelink's uh, Unit 5, Lesson 6. It says, A king owns land outside of his castle. He has partitioned the land to give his gifts to his five sons. What fraction of the land did the king give to each of his sons? Okay, now, Zeke, imaginary Zeke, had an idea about that. And these are his fractions. But as it states in problem number one, Zeke made two errors. That means two of his ideas are wrong. So we're going to explore that concept with you uh, so that you can come up with the answers on your own. Okay? So, first of all, the fact that Andy got the lion's share of land is true, that he got half of that shape uh, partitioned off just for him, okay? I can see that because when I look at the other four parts of the, of the total rectangle, that space for Bill, Carl, Dirk, and Evan occupy the same area as Andy's own property, okay? Then I also noticed that Bill and Carl were given triangular plots while Dirk and Evan were given square plots. Now, if you take a closer look at those four remaining plots, you can kind of see that the space that Dirk and Evan occupy here is about the same space for Bill and Carl. They're just distributed differently. So Bill and Carl got equal size plots compared to Dirk and Evan. They're just triangular versus squares. Now if you uh, were to say cut a vertical line halfway through Bill and Carl's properties, like so, you might notice that it forms two uh, different kinds of shapes. We see some trapezoids and we see some triangles, smaller triangles than what we started with. Now, what do you notice about that triangle at the top of Carl's property that belongs to Bill? It looks a lot like the same shape that is at the bottom half of Bill's property, okay? So that means that Bill and Carl have approximately the same amount of space as Dirk and Evan. They were just... Uh, laid out in different ways because if you look at uh, this shape the top of that blue triangle and the bottom of the uh, the red um, trapezoid it makes a square shape total see if I draw a border around it you can kind of see the square right so Carl got the same amount of space as Dirk and Evans, except it was a different shape. So same area, just different layout, okay? So that means Bill, Carl, Dirk, and Evan all got the same amount of space. So their fractions should be the same as well. So we see that Bill and Carl apparently got a fifth of the total according to Zeke, and then Dirk and Evan got eighths, according to Zeke. So identify Zeke's two errors, correct them, and explain why your answer is correct. So knowing what we now know, based on what I just pointed out with my illustrations, how would you explain Zeke's errors? Okay? I have every confidence that you will be able to figure it out. So you just need to identify what was wrong and then... Write a fraction addition equation to represent the correct answers and show the sum of the pieces of the land. Well, the sum total will be 1 because you're adding fractional parts together to uh, total the land outside of the king's castle. So that is the unit, the 1 that uh, we're talking about here. That's the sum of 1. Okay. 
Now finally, if you take a look down at the bottom, we have some practice problems. They're addition and subtraction, and they involve large numbers, three and four digits. Okay, let's take one to try, okay? 900 minus 463. Okay, now first of all, you should always uh, organize addition and subtraction problems vertically so you can line up those place values. So, for example, 900 minus 463 should be written like this. 463 underneath, subtraction, line. And once I've lined up those place values, it, it uh, becomes very apparent that I need to do some regrouping because I have zeros in my top number. I can't subtract 3 from 0. There's nothing there. So I have to break some things down. So I'm going to take my 900 and kind of make it into... 800s and 10 tens. 800 plus 10 tens, or 100, is 900. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those tens, leaving nine tens, and turn my 110 into 10 ones. Okay, so my new uh, number is 800 plus nine tens plus 10 ones. And of course, if I were to add 800 plus 90, nine tens, plus 10 tens all together, that would give me my starting number of 900. Okay, so we've regrouped. Now we have to subtract. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 8 minus 4 is 4. 437. Still not convinced? Well, I can always take my uh, difference, 437, and I can add it to my smaller number, 463, and if my calculations were correct, I should get my original top number, which was 900. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 30 is 40. 40 plus 60 is 100. Uh, yes, it all falls into place. So 437 is correct. Okay. Do you have questions? If you do, then you need to talk to your math teacher, whether that be me and you so happen to be watching this uh, online, or you are watching this online as part of another teacher's lesson, you need to reach out to that teacher and say, hey, I have questions. I don't get it. Help! Because they won't know that you need help unless you say something. Okay? They're just waiting to help people. That's their job. Okay? Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. Until next time, have a good day. Thanks.